Lewis Moore and I'm a partner in Hill Dickinson's office in London. I specialise in shipping law. The case I'm going to talk to you about today concerns a ship called the Sir with which I was involved. The Sir is a case about deviation and it's a very important issue under shipping law because it can affect an owner's rights and defences under a treaty called the Hague Rules which governs relationships between ship owners and cargo interests. And under the Hague Rules, cargo claims have to be brought within 12 months, otherwise they are time barred and cannot be pursued. What happened with the Sir was that when it arrived at her discharge port in Jordan, there were problems with the specification of the cargo. Nothing to do with the owners, um, but it was a problem which led the authorities in Jordan to refuse the cargo to be discharged. And it was also a problem because as the cargo had been given an import license, it couldn't be exported again. So the ship had to stay in Jordan. And while she sat there, no one was paying for the time that the ship was sitting, so the owners were losing money. The cargo interests said that the cargo was damaged by the ship and they arrested the ship and they got security from the owner's P&I club for $9 million. And arbitration proceedings were started between the owners and the cargo interests. After about two months, the owners decided to take matters into their own hands and without anyone's permission, they removed the ship from Jordan and took it to Turkey where their operations were based. And the Turkish court gave the owners permission to discharge the cargo, to sell the cargo, and to take the sale proceeds uh, to cover their expenses while they were sitting in Jordan. This did not make the cargo interests very happy. However, they did not pursue the arbitration. And after four years, a decision was taken to apply to the arbitrators to have the claim struck out for want of prosecution. This is something that you can do under the Arbitration Act if there has been excessive delay and you are prejudiced and the limitation period has expired. Now, as it was a 12-month limitation period under the Hague Rules, that period had long expired. But late in the day, the cargo interest said there has been a deviation. And as a result of a 1936 case called Haines Steamship, they said that the owners could not rely on the Hague rules. Now the Haim steamship case was a case that was decided when a English law had a doctrine and developed a doctrine called fundamental breach, which Lord Denning was very fond of. That doctrine was eventually put to rest and it was decided that this was not part of English law into subsequent cases. Uh, the Swiss Atlantique, another ship uh, another shipping case and photo production versus Securicor. So there was no longer a concept of fundamental breach in English law. But the Haines Steamship case still applied. And it still applied even though there were two other cases concerning cargo being carried on deck in which the Court of Appeal said twice that the fundamental breach concept did not apply and even though the owner had committed a very, very serious breach of the contracts in both those cases by putting cargo on deck, then the Hague rule still applied and the owner had the benefit of the 12-month time bar. The issue as to whether or not Haines Steamship still applied went to court after an arbitration hearing and the judge decided very reluctantly that she would have to follow the 1936 Haines Steamship decision and say that there had been a deviation and that rather if there had been a deviation that the time bar would be six years instead of 12 months which was mean that the arbitration would still be alive. She said this very reluctantly. She did not think that, that this was the right decision and she was so sure of that that she was prepared to allow us, my clients, to go to the Supreme Court and leapfrog the Court of Appeal. However, the matter went back to the arbitrators and they were able to deal with the whole thing without the parties having to go back to court. I can't tell you what happened in the arbitration because it is, of course, confidential. 
So we're left with the problem that if there is a deviation, a cargo claim may only have a six year limitation period, which makes it difficult for ship owners to close their books. And I can't say whether or not you can actually have a deviation when you've arrived at your discharge port. But if you've got a case that you require an answer to these questions, I'll be very happy to help you resolve it. Thank you.